I'm going to show you how you can connect ProtoTwin to the Beckhoff CX9020 PLC using TwinCat ADS to control a pallet layer former. Make sure you have the TwinCat 3XAE development environment installed. Start by creating a new project. Next, right-click on PLC in the Project Explorer and create a new standard TwinCat PLC project. After that, expand the project and open the main program under PLC Task. Now we need to define the target platform and controller. The controller is a CX9020 running the TwinCat CE7 ARM V7 CPU architecture. Now we're ready to create our program. First off, I'll create some local variables to control the palette layer former. We need three Boolean input tags for the in sensor, the out sensor, and the end sensor. For the output tags, we want to control the conveyor motor state and the pusher actuation controller's state, which will also be Boolean tags. We'll also create another local variable for an off-delay timer. I'll be using structured text for this tutorial, but you can also use ladder logic or function block diagram. We want the conveyor to be on when either the in sensor or out sensor is blocked. For the timer, we want to trigger the pusher when the end sensor is blocked and then release the pusher after a one second delay. The timer will start counting on the falling edge of the end sensor. We bind the output cue to the state of the pusher's actuation controller and finally initialize the timer. Now press Ctrl S to save your project and click Activate Configuration to transfer the program files to the PLC. And click OK to restart the TwinCat system in run mode. After that, click the login button to connect your TwinCat system to your controller and click Yes to create application port 851 on the device. Click to start the program, then open the routes directory, go to Net ID Management, and copy the target network ID, which will need to connect to the Proto Twin Connect client. Now launch Proto Twin Connect and open the model for the pallet layer former. Open the I.O. browser and add a tag server for the PLC device. Select the Beckhoff ADS protocol, paste the target network ID as the host, and set the scan rate to 10 milliseconds. Click the Import button to automatically import the tags. You can click or control click to quickly create bindings for all the tags. Now swap to the IO bindings tab and select the signals in the model, the entity component and property. We want to bind to each of the tags. The input tags are those which get written to the PLC, which then runs the program so the Proto Twin Connect client can read the output tags. Okay, now we've set up all the bindings, we can run the simulation. Notice how when the in sensor or out sensor gets blocked, the conveyor motor's state is set to true. When the end sensor gets blocked, the pusher actuation controller state is set to true, then reset to false. After a one second delay, we defined in our logic. Now you know how to connect Proto Twin to Beckhoff PLCs using TwinCat ADS for virtual commissioning and controls testing.